Ethiopia, our government, our president, no, is surrounded by many bright minds. But as they draft the program, as I notice, uh, there's something lacking. Something lacking. Something Hopefully lacking. Hopefully they can notify that. Notify that. Something lacking. Something lacking. That is why we cannot, is why we cannot uh, directly, uh, flatten. directly flatten. You know what is lacking? You know what is lacking? As I notice, I'm a, I'm a teacher, teacher, and usually, and usually we, have we have a saying inside a classroom, classroom. It says, it says cleanliness, cleanliness is next, next to godliness. godliness. So, so meaning cleanliness, cleanliness we, refer we refer to our, our practices, practices, practices right, right now, now how to fight this COVID-19. COVID-19. But that, that is only, only next, next to godliness. godliness. But that is only next to godliness. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, and write your comment for this YouTube channel of Sir Marlon. Goodbye! But praise God, tonight we can join together. Okay, so... As we listen, no, the press briefing this afternoon, no, this noon, to, by Secretary Harry Roki. So, in our province of Negros Oriental, we are under moderate, moderate risk. Only Cebu City and the rest of the places in Metro Manila, Quezon City, they have high risk. But we continue to pray because we are practicing now a new normal. We do not know if there is second wave, third wave, so our government are taking extra um, measures. But one thing I notice that we need to pray for, yeah, our government our president no is surrounded by many uh, bright minds uh, but as they draft the program as i notice no, uh, there's something lacking something lacking hopefully they can notify that something lacking that is why we cannot uh, directly flatten the curve. You know what is lacking? As I notice, I'm a teacher, and usually we have the saying inside our classroom. It says, "Cleanliness is next to godliness." So, meaning cleanliness, we refer to our practice, no, practices right now, how to fight this COVID-19. But that is only next to godliness. Our program from IATF, I did not blame, blame them, but I just want to uh, reiterate, no, to be notified, I want to warn them that they lack one thing in their program. Their program are perfect. No? They are surrounded by bright minds. One thing they neglect for is the godliness. They are more focused on the cleanliness, but that is cleanliness is the next of godliness. I'm not seeing that they, they allow the church gatherings, no, for is that is against social gathering, uh, that is against uh, social distancing. But they need to consult leaders, no? godly leaders. They need to consult that. In this fight, we need to have a program by families that we need to first settle our heart, ourselves. We need to, uh, as we stay at home, we need to, uh, by family, gather together and having a personal devotion to God. We need to have a program like that. That is number one. That if each Filipino people, each 
people around the world. If we are connected to God, it's easy for us to follow the, all the programs in government. It's easy for us to submit with our government leaders. We can develop one mind, one heart, unity among us Filipino. Program itself, no program itself. Many are also bright minds, and they always critic. They always try to find ways no? how to no? test its programs. But if we do first no? the godliness, I think majority, if not hundred percent, but almost one hundred percent will follow and submit our government because God teaches us to submit our government in Romans chapter 13 verse 1. So that is what I am trying to to shout to our IETF. Hopefully they can see that. We have other questions there. So cleanliness is next to godliness. That is one thing we lack for. We have already 11,350 all over our country. And then from that 11,350, we have recoveries of 2,106. And we have deaths 751. As of today, no, we have 264 new cases confirmed infected by COVID-19 as of 4 o'clock p.m. And 165 of that, out of 264, that is tested from NCR. And 74 from that is from Region 7. And 25 from that is scattered from different regions. So there is still, even though we, according to Secretary Roque, from ECQ to GCQ to modified GCQ, there is still community quarantine. Why? Because the virus is still there and we don't have any vaccine. So hopefully, IFTF, no? President Duterte, Secretary Roque, and the rest of our leaders, think of it. Call for godly leaders. And how are we going to exercise godliness inside in each of our homes? As we stay at home, we will practice godliness. The, the government will encourage. You know, because God is calling us, awakening us, awakening us for this COVID-19 to, to worship Him, to acknowledge Him, to bow down before Him, and to surround, uh, surrender to our Almighty God. Now, if the friends will come together, that our government will be touched. From that, we pray, and we pray tonight by faith. Because according to the word of God, Mark chapter 11, verse 24, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. That is our key. God will answer our prayers. We need to pray by faith. Amen. Let's have it tonight. Join with me. Even you just want to listen there. You just want also to utter prayers. You do it by heart. And direct it to our Almighty God. And have faith. Believe that we will receive what we ask and it will be ours. Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord, God. tonight. Thank you for you are uh, doing slowly, Lord, God, the, the infected Filipino people of this COVID-19. You did not allow us to have a very deep line from our graph, Lord God, a massive increase of infected COVID-19. You did not allow us. Though every day we have tested, confirmed, but 
mo. Slowly, just, just slowly, it creates a plateau. We praise you for that. We praise you even for a, a, a lot of recoveries. Thank you for answering our prayer. Though we have 700 plus deaths, Lord, but you allow these things, Lord, for your reason. Comfort the families, but thank you for a second chance, a second life for those who were recovered. Lord. Pray, I pray, Lord, and this is our prayer that as they live their new life, they dedicate it to you, Lord. They know you, Lord, as their God and Savior. They will surrender and worship you, Lord. To you alone, we give the glory. Our Creator, our life owner, our life designer. So, Lord Jesus, thank you for saving us, giving your life to us to be saved. So, Father, thank you for giving us a chance to call you Abba Father to the Lord Jesus Christ. Though you are just a creation, but you acknowledge us, you establish a relationship as Father and Son. So Lord, thank you. Thank you for that privilege. We believe, Lord God, as what we pray tonight, we believe that you will answer us. We pray continually with that uh, 9,000 plus who are still in the hospital or in the quarantine area. So we continue to pray and believe that in the name of Jesus, you wash their body, you cleanse their body, Lord, from the power of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and take all the viruses in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that we can adjust this new normal, Lord, especially our churches. Lord. How are we going to minister your people? How are we going to continue to share your gospel, Lord? How, how are we going to continue to reach out to people in sharing your word, in letting you be known to them? Give us wisdom and we can give us the patience to adopt this new normal. So, Father, I pray for IETF right now that Lord give them wisdom. One thing they need for is godliness, a program for godliness. I pray, Lord, that they will notice that one. They call for godly leaders, Lord, who is their heart is after the form. And they ask for wisdom, how are they going to, to encourage, to program your Filipino people to establish a home worship, to establish, Lord God, a close relationship to you during this stay home. Lord God, I pray for that. I pray for that awakening. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord that all of us can acknowledge that you are indeed our Father. The Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, save us, redeem us to be your sons. He, he bring us to you, Lord. We acclaim sons because of his love. Thank you, Lord. Pray for our frontliners in the name of Jesus. Pray for Sister Judy, but for anything, Lord God, uh, the wife and daughter of Pastor Bob and also his son, Keith, Leah, Lord God, Father Toto, uh, the rest, Lord God, also Chris, no? who is out. The rest of the frontliners abroad, Lord, we pray, and even here in the Philippines. Protect them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And for those who are infected, Lord, our frontliners, heal them Lord, in the name of Jesus. Heal them, Lord. Yes, we believe in you. We believe in you. I know you heard our prayer. Thank you for the answer, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. If be friends, see you tomorrow.